hard outside and it's so gloomy which is why I had to turn on all my lights here in my room because it was so dark. But anyway, I'm almost done with the semester. Ooh, right now, I'm just finishing up some last minute plates that I need to submit as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm just so happy with the way these plates turned out. When I started this class, I didn't know how to draw plants or draw perspectives of a space. This freehand drawing class was able to enhance my drawing skills a little bit, I guess. And speaking of classes and skills, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So Skillshare is an online learning community and a huge platform where you can find thousands of online classes for anyone who loves learning and is interested in enhancing their skills. There are classes about photography, videography, editing, interior design, or art classes in general, and lots more. Some of the classes that I'm currently taking up is this interior design for beginners, elements and principles class by Vanna Albertini. This is actually a subject that I took up in my first year of college, so it's really cool to refresh my memory. Another class I'm in is the home office interior design work from home like a boss class by Anna Marku. This is helpful for me as I'm planning to upgrade my office workspace in the near future. I've also saved up a couple of classes that I'll most likely get into soon and it's about learning how to use CAD and SketchUp since I'm gonna have classes about these in school by January so I want to learn the basics of it as early as now so that it'll be easy for me once I start my CAD or digital rendering classes. So the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description box below will get the one month free trial of Skillshare and I hope you guys do join the community. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Alright so now I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my freehand drawing plates. So these are the plates that I did for my freehand drawing class and I'm going to show you guys the first ones that I did. So for our first plates, we just did lines and letters. It's self-explanatory. So this class is all about sketching, drawing without the use of rulers except for creating the border itself. And then for my second set of plates, we did fundamentals, strokes, and exercises. This one is pretty much just, again, the same thing. We just drew some vertical horizontal zigzag and curved lines but this time we had to create gradients and these are like the applications of it I know it's ugly I hate it my third plates are about controlled application of strokes and I kind of enjoyed doing these because of the patterns and now for my fourth plates this time we started using tech pens and tracing paper so for this one, it's shading exercises. We just drew some cylinders and applied the shading techniques that we learned. So this one is hatching, this one's cross hatching, and lastly, this is stippling, which is my favorite. And then for the homework, we did the same cylinder drawings, but this time we had to use, like I said, tech pens and tracing paper. And I love this plate so much because it's very satisfying to look at. So this one is basic geometric forms. So this was my seat work plate and then this is my homework plate that I actually did in a coffee shop back then and it took me like five hours to finish because I used the stippling technique which is very time consuming but the result is so satisfying like look at that so this is my sixth seat work plate and we use the grid technique for this I don't know if you can see it on camera but there's a grid here that I drew using some pencils. So for this plate, we had to print out this photo that our prof sent us and we had to draw some grid on it and then we had to draw some grid on this plate as well but you know a smaller version of it and then we just had to copy what was in each box like for example 1D or 2F we had to draw it here as well I don't know if that made any sense but and for the homework plate our prof gave us the freedom to look for an image that we want to draw using again the grid technique so I found this and then I just drew some grid on it again and then apply it the same method on the tracing paper and ta-da! This is what it looks like. For plate number 7, it's a bigger size so I had it rolled up but anyway, this is one of my favorites because we used colors! So this one is about prints and patterns. 
basically for this plate we just had to like copy paste the floral drawing that we did earlier which is this one I basically just traced it like multiple times and I just colored it using some colored pencils. Moving on to plates 8 and 9, our prof combined it now because it's just a drawing of a single bedroom. So we had to draw the top view and the section elevation of the bedroom. This is the perspective of the bedroom and the perspective of the living room. So this plate is huge. These are my least favorite plates because I literally crammed this. But anyway, for plate 10 seat work, we did a chair design. In fairness, for this plate, I got 100. This is the dining area and then for the plate number 11, again, another plate that I'm not proud of. It's just a bar stool design. And lastly, the homework plate for this one is the kitchen. I was actually supposed to repeat it because we can repeat plates in this class if we want to aim for a higher grade. But I don't know man, I don't know what happened with me. I just became so busy all of a sudden. I had to edit and submit videos here and there. So yeah, I was not able to do that. But you know, that's okay. I'll just try again next semester. I have another class for freehand too, so I'm so excited for that. These are my favorite, favorite plates out of all the plates that I did. Our prof gave us a month to finish these plates, but guess what? I just did it two days before the deadline. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening to me? I don't know, but can you say that I still delivered? So basically, these were the last plates that I did, but before that, we had our finals, and this is my final plate. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, for the previous plates that I've shown you, we were given box forms like this. We had to dress it up, so as you can see, this is the layout for the kitchen, the bar stool, the dining area. But for these two plates, we weren't given any box forms. Our prof allowed us to search or source pictures of interior spaces that has 80% plants in it and one where there are some decors on some shelves, wall, and on a desk. Once I was done tracing the outlines, I moved the photo underneath and just added some shadows using some different shading techniques. And yeah, those are all the plates for my freehand drawing collage. Thank mm -hmm. you. 